Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Ben, again. So, I haven't done a video in like a few weeks, I know, whatever. So, I'm gonna start the review on the new Star Wars movie. But be aware, there will be spoilers. Obviously, you look down there and it says spoilers, so... Yeah. Whatever. You might not see it, because whatever, but... Let's get to the actual thing. So... Honestly, I quite liked the movie. It didn't quite get up to my expectations, but it was really cool. I mean, like, it was awesome. The big, I mean, there were definitely a lot of sad parts, like when Han died, kind of. Yeah, we kind of now know that... Oh my god, I keep forgetting everybody's name that's not from the original three movies. Ugh. Whatever, that masked guy with the... Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren, whatever. Yeah, Kylo Ren is now obviously turned to the dark side. And also, at the end of the movie, at the very end of the movie, we saw Luke Skywalker, so obviously... But we did see Kylo Ren get really beat up by that girl, and when I was in the theater, like, literally nobody cheered when she picked up the lightsaber and started to kick Kylo Ren's butt hard. Jedi style. Oh, yeah. But, moving on, it was, like, so let's do a quick, like, review of the plot line, quickly. So, there's this... Guy, well, wait, I kind of forget how it starts. Whatever. So there's these stormtroopers that go down from and attack this innocent city or whatever. And this stormtrooper who ends up being called Finn, like, really close on, whatever, and doesn't want to kill and stuff. So, also, BB-8 gets the map to Luke Skywalker, so, eh, a lot of stuff happens there. Then, this, then the guy leaves the stormtrooper, goes back to base and what, what not. And also the, what I thought was the main character ended up getting captured and, well, he just seems to be some guy that comes along the way. Anyways, he was captured and the stormtrooper guy freed him, as you know. And then they escaped in a TIE fighter, flew away, the clone, the clone guy, well he wasn't exactly a clone, he was actually just robbed from his family. Jeez, the First Order's harsh. Whatever, I don't need to go over the whole entire story, but until then, let's just say things I hated. I mean, I mean, it was pretty good, but I did have a few downsides like the fact that they practically took every of the original three movies and just smushed it into one big movie I mean it's a cool combination but <sighs> learn something else just learn to do something else come up with a whole entire new plot don't do the prequels all over again but don't do the Original three all over again. Just make a new plot. And also... The whole fact that we only saw Luke Skywalker to the end. I mean, like... I mean, I know Rey's the main character and all that, but still. We only saw the legendary Luke Skywalker until we got all the way until the end. And also, seriously. Seriously. I mean that it was kind of also disappointing the fact that there is they did the Death Star basically all over again, but like twice as like four times bigger or something, I don't remember, but whatever. They basically just did the Death Star all over again. They had to find a weakness, blow it up, blah da blah, 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 same thing all over again. So anyways I do have a few theories about what will happen in the later movies. One, 
that Ray will become the new, like, legendary, overpowered, strong Jedi. Because, I mean, like, because, I mean, like, did you see her? She was, like, really, whatever. She knew how to use the Force and was even overpowered Kylo Ren. And she didn't even have any training. So I think I proved some, that proves something. So, yeah. Tell me in the comment section down below what you think of that review. And what you also thought of the movie and what should have happened, what shouldn't have happened, ba da ba da ba. Alright. Goodbye.